My problem with the Olympics is this. I got friends back home. Every time they come around, they're like, I can't believe you're not watching the Olympics. That's so un-American. That's so unpatriotic. And I'm like, listen, not giving a shit about something that has international implications is literally the most American fucking thing I can do. <laughs> and for me, it's not even the games. It's the commercials for the Olympics. They're unavoidable. They're on every channel. They make me feel like a piece of shit. They take like six or seven athletes every time and they want to spotlight their journey and tell you how courageous they are. But they don't do it in a low-key way. No, they do it in an epic way, right? They get Oprah or Morgan Freeman to narrate the commercial. And then they come out on TV and they're like, when Felix was 11 years old, his father died in a mining accident in West Africa. Two weeks later, he watched as militant soldiers kidnapped his mother from their village never to be seen again. Felix escaped by doing the only thing he knew how. Running. <laughs> and for three weeks he ran. From Sierra Leone to the golden shores of Morocco and freedom. Oh, he still runs today. Only now, he doesn't run for his life. He runs to be called champion. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm sitting on my couch, eating breakfast at like noon, in sweatpants, just thinking like, oh shit, if the bank closes at five, I don't think I'm gonna make it today. I'm fucking busy, right? But then if you hear that stuff enough, you start getting in your own head, you're like, maybe it's me. Maybe I am a piece of shit. I just moved to Los Angeles. I'm basically a three out there. I need to do something better. So I was like, I'm gonna commit. I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna join a gym. And that's exactly what I did. I signed up for Planet Fitness. <laughs> Laughter is the appropriate response. Because their slogan is, we're not a gym. And they fucking nailed it, didn't they? <laughs> the first thing you see when you walk into the Planet Fitness to sign in is a bowl, a giant fish bowl filled to the top with Tootsie Rolls. <laughs> Candy at the fucking gym. First of all, where did they get that many Tootsie Rolls? They stopped making those in 1958. I understand why it's still full. They're disgusting. Nobody likes them. They're like, hey, you like taffy? Here's something that tastes like an old baseball glove. Go fuck yourself. And then in the bowl, not even next to the bowl or in front of it, stuck in it like a lawn sign. They got a sign in there that says, go ahead. You earned it. I work out at the Planet Fitness every day. No, you didn't, okay? Nobody gets in better shape at Planet Fitness. They do just enough to keep you baseline alive. They should call that place Planet Hospice. They're trying to switch it up now. They got a new slogan. They're like, we're a judgment-free zone. Not for me. I'm judging every fucking person that walks through that door, including myself. But then I realize like, that's what I get when I'm only willing to spend $8.99 a month on being a better person. I just, I can't do real gyms, like CrossFit gyms, that's on me. But it has nothing to do with the workouts. It's the people that go to those gyms. They come out and they're like, yeah, bro, no days off. I'm like, fuck that, all days off. What are you doing hitting a tire with a sledgehammer? Go the fuck home. When are you ever gonna need that skill set in real life? Like, is that how you change a tire? I don't know, but it doesn't seem right. The kind of people that are like, yeah, I'll sleep when I'm dead. I'm like, I'll sleep till one at least. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are like me. Most of you guys seem younger, but I'm 33 years old. I feel like one day when I was 16, I woke up tired and it never fucking went away. <laughs> fucking awful, man. Don't get old, that's what I'm saying. I am from New York City originally. Clap it up if you've ever been to New York City. <laughs> yes. I do like doing comedy here in Southern California. It's better than doing comedy in New York for one reason. When I do comedy in New York, I gotta take the subway. Clap it up if you've ever taken the subway in New York City. And we can immediately agree that's more than it fucking deserves, right? <laughs> the subway's a terrifying place. I was just back there over the holidays. They're trying to make it better. They got all these warning signs on the subway, but they're nonsense. They don't have things that real New Yorkers like me have to deal with. All the signs are like, hey, don't stand too close to the edge when the train's coming because you might fucking die. I'm here to tell you, some people got to get hit by the train. We don't need those people. That is survival of the fittest. Let's thin the fucking herd out a little bit. That'll open up some lanes on the five real quick, okay? That's what I'm saying. 
There's no signs for like what real New Yorkers like me have to deal with. There's no signs that say like, excuse me, sir, maybe you shouldn't clip your toenails on the D train to Manhattan, you fucking animal. You can laugh if you want to. I saw it, it was terrifying. I had to duck under the seat to take cover from the toenails flying around like shrapnel. Now on the floor, I got a whole new set of problems. I probably gotta get an AIDS test. I don't know. Pro tip, next time you guys go to New York City. Just because your nail clipper has a keychain attachment doesn't mean you do it wherever the fuck you want. There's no signs that say like, excuse me, sir, maybe you shouldn't eat peanut butter from the, from the jar without a spoon. But who the fuck are you? I love peanut butter, okay? There are a few things in the world that I enjoy eating more than peanut butter. But this guy on the train was enjoying it too much even for me. For nine stops, just sitting there like, <laughs> like Winnie the fucking Pooh. I got a lot of problems with the subway, obviously. My biggest issue with the subway in New York City, we have this anti-terrorism campaign. It says, if you see something, say something. And it is bullshit. Because if you live in New York City like I did, you take the train to work every day like I did, you see like 43 things a day. <laughs> but you're like, uh, should I be fucking telling somebody about this? <laughs> is it just terrorism or is that homeless guy shitting on the platform enough? <laughs> And I don't know what you guys do, because I just got here. I just got to Southern California. And I feel like that whole ad campaign just goes against my nature. Because I'm from Brooklyn, and I was always told growing up, if you see something, you didn't see nothing. Keep your fucking mouth shut, all right? I got my fucking eyes on you. That is a real accent where I'm from. Everybody that I grew up with talks like that. I don't, because I went to school. But everybody else talks like that. You guys have been a lot of fun. Thank you so much. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right, we're down to our final two comics. Are you